Eric Jerome Dickey, best-selling U.S. author dies at 59. Author Eric Jerome Dickey, whose novels of romance, mystery and adventure were best-selling page-turners over more than 20 years, has died aged 59. The U.S. writer wrote 30 novels about breathless relationships and thrilling adventures involving young African-American characters. They included Friends and Lovers, Milk in My Coffee, Cheaters, and Finding Gideon. He also wrote a series of Marvel comics about a love story between Storm from the X-Men and the Black Panther. His work has become a cultural touchstone over the course of his multi-decade writing career, earning him millions of dedicated readers around the world, his publicist Becky O'Dell told in a statement. Writer Roxanne Gay was among those paying tribute, describing him as a great storyteller. Other authors to add their voices included Love via J.E., who described him as a literary legend, and re shown to Tate Billingsley, who said he was an amazing author and an even better friend. Born in Memphis, Tennessee, Dickey started out as a software developer in the aerospace industry. Being laid off from that job gave him a chance to take writing classes and see whether he could make it as an author. He emerged during a boom for African American literature in the 1990s, and his 1996 debut sister, Sister, about the lives and loves of three siblings, was recently named one of the 50 most impactful black books of the last 50 years by Essence magazine. He was particularly praised for his ability to write believable female characters, and many of his readers were women. When the New York Times profiled him in 2004, it billed him as the Chicklet King. Patrick Henry Bass, Essence's books editor, told the paper, he is singular in the way he is tapping into the African-American female psyche. And Calvin Reed, an editor at trade magazine Publishers Weekly, said, he captures black language and black middle-class characters with more depth than you often see in commercial fiction. By that time, he was selling 500,000 books a year. He was nominated four times for the NAACP Image Award for Best Work of Fiction, winning in 2015 for A Wanted Woman. By then, he had branched out into stories of crime, suspense, thrills and spills as well as the steamy and tangled relationships with which he made his name. He had four daughters, but said he never based his plots on his own life. I avoid my life, he once said. It bores me. Trust me. A book about me would be a snooze fest. His final novel, The Son of Mr. Seulman, will be published in April.